So in the last video we set up our player to have a gun. And let's take this scenario here where we've got the spike in the way. Our player needs to get to the other side, they can't get past. So we want the ability for our player to destroy the spike. So how do we set this up? Well, we're going to go to our event sheet. We're going to create a new event. And we're going to say if bullet is overlapping another object, such as our spike, then we want to do something. But what do we want to do? Well, we want to destroy that spike so it's no longer part of the level. So we can go down to destroy. And we also want to destroy that bullet that hit the spike as well. So that doesn't carry on any further, just like a normal bullet would. So we can go in, we can test it. And it works. Unfortunately, we've come to a different problem now. So I'm going to restart the level. I know my spike's there. I'm going to go all the way over there. And I'm going to start shooting. Now what's happened is our spike's been destroyed. So we need to change it so the bullet's only going to hit stuff that's on the screen. Because if not, our bullets are going to travel forever and we could wipe out half the level without even knowing about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new event. And we're going to check if the bullet. And we should have an option to check if it's outside of the area. So let me just quickly check for that one. Is outside layout is on the screen sorry so if bullet is on screen and we just want to invert that so if bullet is not on screen then we just want to destroy that bullet so just go down and destroy so as soon as the bullet's off the screen it's going to destroy it so let's test this now it's going to fire again it's off the screen so the bullet should be destroyed and you notice that our spike doesn't get destroyed this time. So this is just a nice way that you can make sure that the player is not able to destroy anything beyond the level. The last thing I want to show you very, very quickly is what happens if we've got multiple things we want our player to be able to destroy. Do we need a new event for each one of those? No, we don't. So what we can do is we can add a brand new condition to this. So add another condition. And let's say our bullet is overlapping our walls. So that's the only thing else we've got in this level. So it touches the wall. What we need to do is click on the sides here and make this an ore block. So it's checking for one or the other. And then we want to destroy the wall it touches as well. So it may look like that when we hit anything, it's going to destroy a spike, a bullet, and a wall. It's only going to destroy anything that it collides with. So if it doesn't uh, collide with the the spike it won't destroy that spike so let's test this just to be safe so we'll come up here we'll shoot the spike that gets destroyed we'll shoot the wall that's been destroyed but only that wall's been destroyed we can then destroy the other walls as well if we want so if you want to add any more enemies that you want your player to destroy just make a big list of them making sure you've got this condition met as well